Tonight there are three chairs where normally there are none. Let me say a word about them now. This year, we've all lost a lot, don't you think? What have you lost? How many birthdays, graduations, weddings, funerals were nothing like we thought they'd be? Countless people lost jobs. Hundreds of thousands of people in this country alone have lost loved ones. Too, too many lost hope. For our psyches and our souls, we need, need to name our losses and to grieve them. The loss of the sense of safety has been traumatizing. Loneliness has taken a toll on many. And again this year, come Easter, many will find an empty place at their table. We've all lost a lot. What have you lost? This chair will symbolize the losses and letting goes of this year. At the same time, we've all received a lot this year, haven't we? I mean, what have you received? Some of it we've seen, some of it's been behind the scenes, we'll never notice, but the grocery store workers who were scared but just kept working the first responders of every type, right? Nurses and firefighters and counselors and doctors. The people who kept our churches going. The nurses who served in ways that some of us will never know behind the scenes. The doctors, the scientists who worked so hard to create vaccines to help save us. We've all received a lot. Some of it was obvious to us. Some of it we never even saw. What have you received this year? To help our psyches and our souls, we do well to practice gratitude. And not only to see our blessings, but to savor them. This chair will stand for all that we have received this year, seen and unseen. Joyce, would you come forward now? And a lot has been asked of us as well, hasn't there been? We've all been asked to care and help in ways we weren't before. Maybe you were that single mom who worked all day, then went home exhausted to homeschool your child. Maybe you've reached out to some who were in need of financial support or helped at the food pantry. Maybe you offered an extra kindness to a neighbor or someone who was shut in. Maybe you blogged or preached or prayed or cared in ways no one will ever even know to help us together move forward through this. Much has been asked of us this year. For our psyches and our souls, we need to hear the call to serve. What has been called forth from you this year? This chair will stand for that. Carrie, would you come forward now? Carrie, I will address you first. You are a nurse, and you serve in the ICU, and you were there when the hospital was overrun with COVID patients. And from what little bit I know, it was awful. 
you saw stuff no one should ever have to see. You had to decide stuff no one should ever have to decide. And I know that almost every night you went home exhausted and defeated and got in the shower and cried. Tonight, we wash your feet to say thank you. To say thank you for what you have absorbed for us. And through you, we honor all those who serve. especially those in the medical community. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you for what you have done that no one will ever know. Thank you. Joyce, when Mark got COVID, you were so worried about him. And you couldn't even visit him. Your husband, you just loved him from afar. And then you got it pretty bad. And you weren't even sure you would be okay. And I know it probably wasn't Carrie, but both of you received a lot of care, did you not? And I'm so glad you came through. I know you've got a bit still to wrestle with. But I know that both you and your husband have hearts that have always cared for others. This time, I'm glad you could receive. And now we'd like to wash your feet as a sign of the difference that it makes when people care and reach out to serve. And I know that both of you continue to pray for everyone for whom these days are so hard. And I invite you for just a moment to both look at this chair, because I know you have both lost a lot and suffered, and it's been hard. This chair which reminds us of all of those who've paid such a price and from these days have been so hard. And for just a moment, I invite you to look both at each other. You've both received. You both are continued to be called to serve this world and to wash feet. Thank you for being here this night. We send you forth now. It was the night before he died that Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. He continues to do that now through so many good and humble and sim simple, imperfect people who just do what is needed for love. This chair will remain here empty as we pray tonight. Its emptiness will hopefully speaks to us of, to some of the countless losses of this year. May it also remind us of the times we've sat here and received the love of others, that our feet have been washed. In ways seen and unseen, we've all been blessed. And finally, may this chair be a reminder to each of us of all those who still need our love. Near or far, those that Jesus counts on us to serve, whose feet we are to wash. For after the example of his life and at his command, we too are to be washers of feet. <laughs> 